What's up guys? So I just wanted to do like a little chain tutorial, something, whatever. Uh, the other day I was on a tree job and I grabbed uh, my 391. It's got a 25 inch bar, full house chain. And the chain was sharp, but it, it wasn't hooking. Okay, well when it's not hooking, what I mean by hooking is you can feel the chain, the chain's sharp, but you stick it in the wood and it's just not, you know, grabbing like it needs to. You know what I'm saying? The easiest way to tell this is turn the saw over and start pushing wood. And if it's not digging in the tree, but the chain's sharp, that means that your rakers are too high. Okay? So, I, I knew that. I went ahead... I just powered through it and you know got it done now I'm in here uh, fixing the records and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this takes a lot of time to learn there's several different ways to do it I've got my way that I like to do it which is not quote unquote the book way um, and y'all can get mad at me if you want to but that's that's the way that I like to do it I've done it enough that I can do it this way. I started out doing it the book way. Okay? So, if until you get used to doing it my way, I would suggest doing it the book way. Okay? So, I'm going to show you the book way. The book way is to take a uh, chainsaw guide or a, a, you know a, a tooth or a raker or gauge sit it on they've got multiples they've got ones that go across two teeth one and two and then you file your rakers down and then they've got the better way which is to sit it on one tooth and file your rakers down with a flat file, kind of like this one, okay, you know, whoop, whoop, whoop. me, I like to take this Dremel tool right here, stand it up right here, just turn it on and just, you know, scrape some off and then move down to the next tooth, scrape some off, move down to the next tooth, scrape some off, move down to the next tooth, scrape some off. Put it in my vise, slide my chain, da 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 da. Okay, so let me get you in focus here. All right, so hold on, I'm not gonna turn it. All right, so let me stand up a little bit. Hold on, get you in focus. All right, so now see there. Notice the height of the tooth. Height to the raker. Height to the tooth. Height to the raker. Same thing. That one's broken off. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Height to the tooth. Height to the raker. Alright. So now let's go back. See where I started. Okay. So now. Back in focus. There. Height to the tooth. Height to the raker. Height to the tooth. Height to the raker. Alright. Boom. There we go. See. Height to the tooth. Height to the raker. Let's go back a little bit more. Let's see that one. I haven't done this one. So see the height of the tooth. Height of the record. So the it goes through. This is guiding the chain. And it tries to pull. And you can't pull any wood. Because this is in the way. Same thing with that one. I'm sorry for the video quality. I'm still learning how to do this. See, those are pretty much even. So what you have to do is you have to take this down a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay? Same thing. Okay, so those I still have to do. Um, But if I had a better camera set up, I would show you the in-process details. I'm not using a guide. Um, I'm not using a depth tool at all. I just go by look and feel. 
and I can do it real fast that way. Also, I like my chains to be real aggressive, very aggressive, okay? And I've done it long enough that I know when I go stick them in the wood, if they're too aggressive, you know, because they'll just, and the guys that know what I'm talking about, they just stop. Because they're trying to pull too much wood at one point in time. Okay, so I've learned how to look at them and know how much to take. And I can just feel it. Okay, and a lot of folks are going to disagree. That's fine. You know, y'all do it your way. I'm going to do it the way I like to do it. Um, you do it the way you like to do it. So, and anybody has any questions, feel free to comment. Get up with me. Uh, and if you're new to it, 100% definitely use a gauge and a flat file. And then once you learn how much you need to take off, you know, then I feel like this way is faster. So that's why I do it that way. Anyway, um, uh, and this bar is an old bar. It's a bar that got bent that I kind of halfway straightened and I use it simply just for uh, fixing chains and I've got another bar this is a, this bar is a it's a 3 8 50 and I've got another bar that's a 6 3 yeah so and I use it for my other chains so you know, um, and same deal with this. The old bar that I, that the nose was bent up or the nose was burnt up or whatever. And so these are the bars that I use to fix this stuff. Um, so, but anyway. So, point being, if you know your chain is sharp, then, and, and it's not hooking, you know, or cutting, which this chain right here, I could turn the saw over and run it normal, you know, pulling wood, and it would cut, but I would kind of have to, you know, force it through, okay? But, like I said, if you turn the saw on its back and put it in front and start pushing wood, it wouldn't hook. And so I knew right then, I was like, all right, my records are too high. So I brought the saw in here, blew it out, uh, tidied up my bar. I resharpened the chain, you know, just to touch it up. And now I'm fixing the rakers. So the rakers are just important, or just as important as the sharpness of the tooth itself. Okay, and each tooth is different. So I'll look at all the teeth, and generally they're all about the same. And then I'll take the records down to, you know, where they need to be. And also, I like to use a headlamp. I like to have light where I'm looking at. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, any questions, feel free to comment, contact me, whatever. Um... But this is just like sharpening a chain. Adjusting your records is a learned skill. You have to do it. Go test it in the wood. Come back. Figure out what you did right. What you did wrong. And then fix that accordingly. Okay. So. Yeah. Anyway. Hey. Deuces homies.